What is happening, y'all? Welcome. I'm back once again. Thanks to Sony for the code. So the focus of this episode, uh, we are going to be going around and knocking out as many outposts as we can. So we got one, two, three, four, and then Azamo Bay on top of it. Now we had wrapped up the episode over here. Um, there was something bugged with that outpost. I don't know what was going on, but I was literally at the outpost and I couldn't get anything to work. Like I was hiding in grass right next to the Mongol leader and the observation prompt wasn't showing up. So fast traveled on over to this one. We'll do this one first and then uh, continue on afterwards. So what, what do we have to do? What is our, uh... oh, kill enemies with a longbow? Bro, sign me up. This is easy. Let me find a way in. I think this is the one where I like showed up and observed the leader and then dipped out. That's the leader. Are you really the only one here? Oh, no, hang on. That came from someone else. Oh, wow. You're inside? Gotcha. Just a little bang boom. Took him out real fast. Found that guy was alive. I, I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get the uh, bonus objective for a second there. I was like, oh, I killed two. I guess I could kill the leader with a bow, but... Look at all these nice supplies you had for me. Man. Oh yes, goodies, 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 goodies. Honestly, after running through these guys, I might have uh, the mats I need to do another katana upgrade as well. Which would be really nice since I'm having a bigger focus on katana play than I am uh, Tanto, an assassination. I think part of what it might have been is, uh, so Fallen Outpost, when I went over there, there was uh, a group of bandits that were attacking the outpost. And I think the bandits attacking it somehow bugged things out. But we'll uh, we'll travel back over and see if it's, if it's working again. Which, I mean, considering it took three minutes for the first outpost, um, this, this episode, we, we might have to find a little bit extra to do. So that was, that was a big fall. If I can survive that, I can survive pretty much anything that's not instant fatal distance.
That's interesting. Damage enemies of the fire bazir. That was not the challenge before. So I think when you leave and come back, it may uh cycle the challenges. Is the leader still where he was though? There we go. Yeah, I didn't get this prompt last time. Fire Brazier. Like hitting that and dropping it on enemies, I guess. that archer at? that point perfect dodge which now that I have that I don't know if it's even worth picking up dodge slash if I can perfect dodge dodge the last possible moment to perform a deadly counter attack I mean I could spend a point for the horse thing just be like yeah but I don't know I feel like that's I feel like there's better places to spend the point you know like this is totally worth it this adds some combat variety. The charge I haven't used, but I needed it to advance. Um, sprint strike I've been using a lot. That's fun. But I think we're good here. Um, as for exploration, not sure I need this. I'm just kind of finding them. Now that we know that the bird will guide me to those. Uh, the shrines I'm also kind of just stumbling upon. The Inaris I'm stumbling upon. I don't know if I need these points. So instead... Uh, standoff streak could be pretty fun. Um, save yourself from defeat when wounded costs three resolve. Oh, so it's like a get, do you get up and attack? No, you just get back up, but you're on the verge of death. I don't know if I would do that. Uh, for concentration, chain assassination. Yeah, not really playing that way. Far hearing could be useful. I don't know what these are about up here. The healing incense could be really good. Just the healing smoke bomb to, well, th th but then again, if I'm using smoke, I'm disengaging. I think I might go up to this explosive powder, just super sticky bombs. And I'll have the, the guarded throw. I use sticky bombs a lot, so that could be nice. Whereas this, it adds shrapnel. Is it gonna kill people? 
that's the real question is will this like are all those guys dead wow i think they are all right so explosive shrapnel might be pretty good what about with explosive powder is this also killing them outright it looks like it is oh man i think i would go for this over it I, i'm a bigger fan of the sticky bomb the kunai could also be good the alternative of course is buffing my stances increase all stagger damage increase stagger increase stagger Hmm. Automatic, the auto parry. I do like the look of that. The water surging strikes, piercing. I don't know, man. I don't know. There's, there's so many things that I want. Everything sounds good. Ooh, piece of candy. No, why did? Damn it. Wasting my resolve. Come, Kage. Wrong button. Come again, Kage. Is that that I pick it up? Oh, there we go. Actually, you know what? I didn't really scour this place for some iron on the way out. Let me um, let me do a quick sweep. So I got distracted by potential upgrades and didn't bother looking for iron and stuff. And these places usually have iron and steel and all the things I need to upgrade my katana. Now that's more like it. Now we're ready to go. Thought my horse could jump with me. そろしいことです。どの無黒も血が出ておらんな。何があった。疫病でございます。井戸に無黒があることを知らず、口にしてしまったようですな。眠い死に方だ。埋めてやらねばな。病が広がるのを防ぐには燃やさねば。しかし、
One more Inari and I get a minor charm. Okay, um, let's go do you next. Do I want to hell hit that later? Go to the crown. Head out there from there. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to add something else to this episode because we're we're too done. Well, I mean, at the same time, it doesn't have to be an hour episode. I figured it would have taken an hour to to cover all these, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. But then again, we still got Azamo Bay, which Azamo Bay is like a super fortification, which I don't even know if I can take that. I feel like that might be like a main story mission later on. Like I assault the bay with a bunch of the a bunch of the crew. Oh god. Stand stand off against me. Oh god, no. No, no, no. Oh god. Okay. Everybody gets a kunai. That, <laughs> that was probably the most embarrassing samurai moment. Literally roll up on a bunch of bandits and you're like, face me! Oh god! Just collapsing off your horse. They're all like, who the hell is this guy? Like, go back to horse riding camp. Oh god, again. Well, I mean, that's the encampment, so let's just, let's go on foot. I feel like I get any closer with the horse, I'm gonna let him know I'm here. I was real close. Free the prisoners, kill an enemy during a standoff. Eliminate the war camp general. gonna do the prisoners I feel like I need to sneak in well it doesn't say save the prisoners it says free them so if I free them and then they die well no hang on standoff is the bonus so I think that's the only one I can potentially miss so let's go let's roll up on the entrance and declare a standoff down on even ground here. I want to practice my perfect dodge. Damn, perfect dodge is pretty OP. In theory, you could do that against, like, I think every attack. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a lot of news. Worked out, got a little hectic, but uh, you know. Sounds like a fox, I think, nearby. How dare they keep iron locked in a cage like this. They keep me away from my beautiful upgrades. Oh, so this wasn't even my objective. This was something else.
And I think that's an Inari shrine right next to us too. Really destroyed that. Oh my god. Through the straight, there's nothing left. Like, I mean, damn, we saw it in the cutscene, but like, Jesus. We made sure that those Mongols had nothing to come back to. Where are we going, little Inari? I think this gets me another charm slot so I can toss my bow charm on. There's a little side objective next to it too, so maybe another shrine? Just before I get there is the side objective. So I should run straight into it. It's weird because it looks like it's like on top of the base, but... Maybe it was just dictating. Find and observe the leader, and then half bow kills.
And I'm observing every single one of those leaders that I can, because faster progress. Guys up on the roofs too. Oh shit. There he is. They're going to give up. Actually, while they're busy looking for me. Shit. <laughs> Did not work. I think we've made it into a good spot. I just need them to reset, and then I get the leader. Bro, all I want is to observe your leader. See me. <laughs>
like, who is this sneaky ninja? He just runs in and kills us. Observe you, and then I'm gonna kill you. test something Nice gravity trophy. I figured of all the ways to get a gravity kill. Hold up. I figured I would have finally gotten one like kicking somebody off a cliff, but I will take it. Trophy is a trophy. Okay. No, where was my... Didn't show up that time. Either way, I'm pretty sure we have... Well, there's a lot of stuff I did not grab when I was speed sweeping through this place before. Yeah, so maybe that first one was just a fluke, because these subsequent ones, like, we're up to 40 minutes. Next destination.
ちらの精鋭を出せはい。It's not an actual base, I can't take it. So I can't take the base, but I can get rid of enemies and get legend points. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so this doesn't feel necessary. I feel like I'm fine with, with perfect dodge. Horseback, also unnecessary. Let's... Oh, man. We got two points. I should get one of these for the next elite battle I have. I feel like that one is going to do the most damage. And it can go boom, 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 and just a bunch of strikes. Like, the Typhoon Kick is cool, but I also feel it's unnecessary. Hmm. Maybe I go for my super sticky bomb. I do like the sticky bombs a lot. Damn, I need two points for that. All right, well let's let's no, I'll save. I'll save for super sticky bomb. Oh, cool. We've like taken it back. Closer we anyway to our next stance. Four more Mongol leaders. So if I observe and kill here. Oh, hang on.
I'm not interested in y'all. I'm following the golden bird. Yeah, so I think the bird was just bringing me to the survivor camp. If I'm upgrading him, might as well take that all the way up. So yeah, the, to the birds, I guess they can take you to just to, to anything that's that's neat. Survivor camps, bamboo, probably hot springs. Actually, I'm right here. That sounds like a leader to me. don't even know that I just came in here and murdered their leader. They are completely unaware. Alright, now I just need to do the fire brazier.
The silly Mongol should know better. Can't beat a ghost. I think the most exciting thing about this is I am one Mongol leader away. I find one more base that I can do an observation and takedown. And I will have moon stance. Which I wonder. I mean, we're... We're pretty close to Azamo Bay. Even if I can't take the whole base right now, I wonder if I can... Just kind of swing inside and boop the leader. And I may have enough... Uh, let me check something here. Golden Palace. Two upgrades. Yep, I got enough for my sword upgrade. Alright. Um, there we go. Little piece of candy hiding from me. Let's ride over and take a look. We're really close to it. I'm not sure if it's considered a base, but... Assumedly, there's a leader. And if there's a leader, I can kill. The big question is whether or not I can observe it. Because uh, observing leaders seems to be a, uh, a fort type deal. Which I know it's not considered a fort. But if I show up to Azamo Bay and it's like, oh, observe so-and-so? Then, yes, I observe, I kill, and then it's all gravy from there. Okay. We... How are we even getting down? Way too high up on the mountain. Weird. I can definitely go. Maybe I have to talk to them before I can, I can push into the bay. Which, if that's the case, let me mark that instead. I'm gonna ride that way and see if I can find one more camp before I wrap up this episode. So I'm so close, man. Literally, I need... Yeah, so they're in a Zamo Bay quest. I need one camp, and I have moon stands for the heavy guys. This was the sake place. Bunch of shitty bandits. I pressed circle twice in a row without a damn direction on it. Hang on a second. If I killed bandits, there should be... Where's the bandit box? Is it up on the bridge? There it is. I call it the bandit box because you get it after you kill the bandits. Oh, 
サブライお頼みしたいことだ I see smoke. Smoke's a good sign that there might be a camp. Yes. My instincts held true. All right, where's the leader? Kill seven enemies without healing. Find and observe the Mongol leader. Down there on the beach. I like that, like, at you. That guy was in the middle of calling the horn for reinforcements, and I killed him then, like, as he was about to call for support. Two more Mongols and observe the leader. The leader's training on the beach. I don't know if there's... And there has to be at least two more, right? There's a leader. I see one to the right. I kill him and I got moon stance. Boom! 
Moon Stance is unlocked. Hold for a spinning strike. Oh, I like that. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be spicy. All right. Well, we're going to wrap up here. I managed to knock out enough camps to get access to Moon Stance, which is dope. Um, as for where we go from here, honestly, like we could continue the active story, but there are so many freaking tales we can do. So I'm not sure. I'm going to take a minute to think about it. But either way, I will catch you all soon enough as we continue on. So stay tuned and I'll see you all then.